Hello, we are live. Um, uh, today is Tuesday, 4 21st, 2015, and I have Pegasus with us, Matt and Kasim. Hi, everybody. Yeah, today is a, a challenging day. Um, my brother has died, my younger brother. We were pretty good friends with him. And um, I wish I had money and I would fly to Russia, but, but uh, his family also needs money and my family needs money, so they would rather have cash than, uh, than spend the money on the ticket. But we, we communicate through video Skype, so it's not as in past. I mean, the communication is there, so it's different now. So it's not as, as it was before. So he went the uh, Russian Orthodox way and stayed in Russia. And I went Jewish, Jewish faith. I would say Reformed Jewish, very relaxed Jewish faith. And then I went into light working, which was just an extension of the same thing. So I accepted all, uh, all religions as having some truth. Um, but otherwise, we were communicating well. And I think he was killed by um, um, trusting people, trusting Russian medicine, and you know poverty. It's uh, there is no jobs there, so so they didn't have too much money, didn't have too much use. The energy didn't flow too well. But he has two children and uh, and a wife uh, after left after them. So I would uh, invite today um, you know questions on the topic of life and death and um, love and stuff of that sort. Um, yeah, it's, I already had a couple of webinars about death, so, so light workers sort of take it as, not as tragic as, um, as some, some religions or some traditions, because we know there is reincarnation that is alive beyond death, and uh, this experience is just an experience part of the bigger picture. But of course, we love life, and uh, life is good. Life is is creative, and when this creation falls apart, it's it's um, it's not of our choice. But um, uh, I guess taking it philosophically in a bigger perspective helps. Um, do you have anything to say before I go? All right. Um, I invite my um, new um, alien body. Uh, their name is Rojo. Rojo. Uh, they are Yael, and it's um, it's uh, he and she at the same time. So it's more like um, you sometimes call them hermaphrodites or um, something of that sort. It's a female and a male in the same time. By choice, they can do that easily. I met him. I met them once before, and um, I channeled them last time. <sighs> Give me a few minutes to breathe. <coughs> ah. 
Hello, Rojo is here. As usual, as before, it's ninety percent Max and few percent me, but I'm here and it's nice to be with you. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Uh, I guess I need to say a few words about death. Yeah, we like life as you do. Life is of our choice. Life is positive. Death is not of choice. Death is negative. Without technologies, we forgot how to be poor. We forgot how to die of sickness. We even forgot how to die of being old. But we understand. We look at humanity with much attention and we do understand. If you know our past and our essence is creators of life, we like children, we like growing life, we like growing new races, we are a hybrid race and we are thankful to you for donating your DNA to create us, we are your creation, we are a hybrid of you and some other races, including greys. And we are seeing our essence, our ambition as creating new races, further races, and seeding more life around the universe and multiverse. We are creators of life, so we nurture life, we nurture life, we like life, and the death is not of our choice. Biologically, we can come and go, recreate the body, and technically we can transfer the soul from one body to a new one. So death is largely conquered by us. Unless there are certain circumstances when death from accidents could happen. But that is very rare. And also we communicate with our souls of people who passed on the other side. So we are not as lonely as you are. We have good communication with them and good communication with higher realities. We are telepathic, so we are never lonely. We always have a way to communicate. Except those cases when we choose to experience, to experience loneliness for a short while. I wish you much enlightenment and much communication with us and other other dimensional souls and much communication with your people and especially we wish you to master and conquer conquer is not a good word to master telepathic communication so you're not as lonely as you are now. Loneliness is not of our choice and it is unfortunate that you walk through life that isolated and lonely. How can we t like develop our telepathic skills if we're just beginning? <sighs> There are many answers. 
let's and uh, we speak about that much of the time. So let's speak about your telepathy. What? How is your telepathy? What specifically you feel? Um, I'm not sure really. I don't know. Do you think you could like think of a number between one and ten, or I think of a number and then you could tell it to me, or you practice that way or something? Wonderful. I could ask your name, or I can just open my eyes. Just a second. Ah. Uh, so I can see. Ah, I can see. Sorry, I, I would might have recognized your voice. You see, I'm. I don't even feel who you are. How can you you feel my number? Yeah, true. Yeah, uh, we do these experiments, and typically. Mm -hmm. Emotion is much easier to grasp than specific numbers. Numbers go, it takes more, it takes some synchronicity. So we need to meditate together to synchronize. We have to have the purpose, common purpose, and then we start establishing certain telepathic language. So I'm pretty sure the numbers don't don't uh, pass through. But turn away from your computer, please. What? Just turn away so you don't see the screen. Okay. Okay. But so we see your back. No. Ready? I'm, I'm sitting down. I let me open my eyes. Kasim, can you turn away from your computer so you don't see your screen? Yeah, okay, I don't see it. Oh, very good. Now I'm showing the numbers, and you will. And everybody, please send these numbers to Kasim, and we will ha see what will happen. How much hands? Is it, what are you? What, you put your hands up? Yeah, I will just show the numbers on hands. How much hands? What, one hand or two hands? Two hands, and the numbers go from zero to five. Okay, it's three. I didn't start. Hold on. Uh, what? Hold on. Hold on. Here you go. It's uh, five, I think. You said zero five? Yeah, five. I mean, it's four and one. Is it five? <laughs> All right. So Let's try five. again. Second, second try. Second try. Oh, Let me do. Now. now you look away, and I put my hands up. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm putting yes. my hands up. It's from one to five. Two hands. Yeah. Oh, no, just one hand. One hand from one to one. five. One hand. Wait, you gotta show us Kasim so we can say the number. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I don't see anything. Oh, I can guess at random. Hold on. Oh, don't peek, no peeking. Hold on. I don't see anything but um four. Oh, you peeked. Um, did, it, did I get it right? You got it, you got it. Uh, it's random. It's random. No, you got it though. You got it. <laughs> okay. Ah, sorry. That's a great example. They both got it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so telepathy. Yes. <sighs> One of the. One of the main tools, main excuses for telepathy is that you don't use it for, you have to have a reason for the habit. So best information comes, just it is a law of attraction and it is the nature of the universe that information comes best when it comes for a reason. So, if information is really needed and it is good and proper to transfer it, it passes away better. Okay. Uh, exercises. 
exercises. Mm. Keep a pack of cards in your pocket. Yeah, and uh, there, then you have a much more interesting system, yes. Especially if the cards carry some more prettier pictures than just playing cards. Cards with animals and things that matter and geometric forms, oh, platonic solids. Meditation helps. Empathy. It's hard to feel pain, especially when you cannot help. But feeling joyful energies is pleasant. So sending joyful energies and receiving joyful energies would be much better. Group meditations. Holding hands, ah, uh, help. Holding hands on your head and holding hands on the head of others. Holding hands, hand, holding just another hand helps. Smells help a lot. Smell, incense. Allow both of you to tune into a special wavelength, and when you're both in the same wavelength, meditation, uh, the connection happens. Give me more. I got a question. Yes. Max wanted us to speak about uh, life and death, so I thought of this, and I wanted to see if it was appropriate. Now, um, would it be appropriate to see if Max's brother has a message for Max? Hmm. He seems to be busy. Excited, busy, and... He just says hi. He's busy. Well, yeah. If he's busy, uh, what about my grandmother? Would that be possible? Do you have any specific questions? I cannot bring the grandmother, but I could try to get specific ideas. Yes, I would want to know if there's not only a message that she would like to give me, um, but uh, a question of maybe also how are things going? Give me a name, please. I called her Nana, but her name was Jane Beavers. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, what is that? Oh, sorry, Max. Ah. Uh, all right. Ah. Uh, the connection is not very reliable, but the let let me just say what I got, and I'm not sure if it rings any bells. First, it is a music, maybe a song, and maybe it is a song about a bird sent to you, if it means anything. Second, I feel the need, your interest in what you eat, so you eat well and eat healthy, and walk and have nice walks outside in nature. And what was the third thing? <laughs> I was distracted. There was some something else coming. I'm sorry. I'm lo I lost it. You did a great job. That was great practice for Max as well. Thank you. <sighs> any any more? Uh, things to discuss. I would like to give you more perspective, but I would like to hear more from you. What connects you to your grandmother? You know what? Um, she was that energy that was so loving, um, and I always felt like she knew who I, how special I was ah. before I even knew it. Ah. Hmm. I wish I could connect more. Maybe, uh, you know, one thing we did do is we she had a ranch, a little house, Lucky Seven. Uh, that was her favorite place to go. She loved nature. She loved the birds. Ah. Uh, hmm. Let me capture something else. Hmm. I see the five minutes. I have four more minutes. I see the waves and a ship with sailings, if it helps. Uh, and she sits somewhere high on this mast and waves to you. Wow. And throws a, leaves a balloon and it just flies and it's green. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's talk about the aliens. Let's talk about ascension and that topic. Death. Hmm. Yeah, some some of the races are not afraid of death because it's just a switching of the body because they so remember so much of their previous life. It is just like changing your car. You maybe get used to your car, but because you are you, no matter what, it doesn't really matter which car you drive, right? Humans don't remember much about their past lives. It's your choice. It is your collective choice. That's the design of the Earth experiment. It's an extreme, and you know that. But some do remember past lives. Very few, but some do. Please do more questions. I have a couple more minutes. Yes, I want to know if there are any messages for me. On any, uh, give me some specifics. I'm sorry. Um, I could come with something, but if you give me specifics, it would be help more helpful. Uh, a message, if um, if my soulmate has any messages for me. Who? 
Her name is uh, Delilah. Ah. And uh, I know there is a story about Delilah, but I don't know it. Um, what is your relationship with Delilah? Who is she to her to you? She is my soulmate. We've had many lifetimes together. You are too balanced. Get your butt off the couch and do something. Get excited. What does it help? Balance is in passion. Only the only true balance is in passion. Find your passion and do something about it. And the symbol, let me get the symbol. Thank you for Fox that. Fox is back. I, I remember this symbol. The symbol is uh, a half-naked Indian. I mean, top, how do you say, top, top-naked Indian um, on, uh, I don't know these words, uh, on, on a horse riding fast. Riding the horse very fast. Origin somewhere. Hurrying somewhere. Wow. <sighs> mm. Beautiful. Hey, shiny dude in space. Hello, Max. Much love. Much love to all. How is everyone doing? Hi, Sean. Uh, Who was that? I feel good energies. It was a pleasure to be in that flow of energy. I didn't get too much information, but um, you know, whatever I got, I, I said. Thank you very much, and I got to go. Um, anybody is into blessings? Is anybody into blessings? Galactic language wise. Do you want to speak? I'll do a blessing in galactic language if that's okay with Great. you. Great, and then I will uh, say whatever comes to my mind. Wonderful. Sumaya to ala iya koto shala aya sono tamana e kaso isha to mata e ala hi so to inana ake shatomana e sonu no ae e alo miyasa ala koto amata e kusuna e shaniyaso tapaniyaso na e kanala e sanu iyasha talahaki sutumia tolomiyasa e na u. I am looking at a crystal, a rose of quartz, shining with beautiful colors in the sun. In the sun, I see pink, I see yellow, I see white and blue and green, and I turn it, and it shines and sparkles. It seems cold. But it is alive. The light passes through it and I resonate with it. It sparkles with happiness, and this happiness arises. imagination in me. It brings up memories. It be, brings up memories of childhood. It brings up images of children. I'm looking at the young plant. I water it and it, the drops of water reflect the sun 
and it sparkles and it promises a good life. It promises to become big and beautiful, give shadow and whisper in a wind. I don't know. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for Max, sharing. That, that was moment. beautiful. Thank you so much. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.